what I have here is I have the Medtronic Mini Med uh, 523. Where's the 532? Anyway, it's the Mini Med pump right here. And I have the reservoir. This is the 180 unit uh, reservoir. And this is the Mio infusion set, as you can see, uh, right here. This is the one with a 6 millimeter cannula. And this is the blue one. They have different color choices. They have pink and clear. I choose blue. Okay, just a bit of warning that you will see needles. Um, you might or might not see blood. Depends on how my last uh, infusion set insertion went. So, just a bit of warning. I will definitely warn you again if I'm going to show you needles. Uh, right now they're in packaging. I hope uh, even with high definition you won't see them. Uh, um, if you do, uh, my apologies. Um, warning, warning, there will be needles and there might or might not be blood. So, in order to do a set change, um, of course you have I have a tissue ready, um, just in case, because um, I had a really bad insertion, um, but you don't know at the time, and then when you do a set change, you pull out the old set, the blood basically is in a fountain form, basically it just squirts out loads of blood, I was freaking out, um, because you have like pressurized blood coming out of your gut, that's like squirting out, I like, ah, but you know, after... You basically do minor bleed for like three days, and then you pull out. I was like, ah, but I survive. I lived. I learned. Um, it's okay. So what you basically need is the reservoir right here, the infusion set, meal sporin, um, two alcohol pads, and insulin bottle, and band aid. We use one of the um, spot band aid. Um, let me show you the box. All these off the Amazon clear spots. Uh, I don't know how much they are, but they're very small. So, so but please check with your uh, nurse or endocrinologist or the pump trainer on the proper procedure of doing an infusion set change. This is how I do it. Uh, just to show you, I do this once every three days. Uh, but again, check with your medical professional on how often you should do your set change. All right, so. Let me show you. First thing I do is take one of the alcohol pads and wipe the top. Make sure you wash your hands before you do it. Um, you want to minimize the chance of infection because when you're diabetic, you are already at risk for higher risk for getting an infection. And when you get infected, um, your blood sugar goes all the whack than your normal pattern. So wipe that, and then you're going to open the um, reservoir. you can see um, there's a little needle but don't worry this is, does not go inside you um, this goes inside basically to the top of the bottle and you want to draw some air um, my three-day needs is basically 100 units to 120 units so I do a little bit over 100 because the reservoir tubing takes about 5.86 units or so um, depends how much air you get into it so I basically pour pull a little bit over 120 as you see the one is the 100 mark so that'd be, uh, maybe even 140. Then you want to insert into the top. A good seal. And then you press to get all the air into the vial. And you flip it upside down. It's really cool. It's almost make me like, ooh, I'm a doctor. Uh, and then you pull the plunger in a slow and steady rate. And you will get air bubble in it, but don't worry. I basically pull it past 120, maybe even past 140 a little bit. Then you want to give it a good tap and I'll push it back. As you can see, there's going to be air bubbles coming up. Um, that's almost done. And then basically, I push it to 100 and then slowly draw back to 140 again. Then I look at it against light to see if there's any air bubbles um, attached itself. Very small air bubbles attached to yourself on the bottom of the plunger. Make sure you take a good look and then give it like a very good tap don't worry about it, you won't break it and then push the plunger back a little more basically you want to eliminate all the air bubble in the um, reservoir because air bubble won't kill you but it will make it inaccurate because you do not want to infuse air bubble when you want insulin into your system and I just put a little bit past 120 looks like a 125 markish then I basically what I do 
as me, I will try to loosen the back of the plunger a little bit by twisting a little bit. Then twist the plunger from the sit and then pull out. And this little reservoir is ready. Now you remove the back. Because I already loosened it, you do not want to pull the plunger because then you basically pull air back into it or push it. Basically, you want to use twist motion only. I save this, um, put it aside. I do not throw away yet because sometimes there's a connection issue with the infusion set and the reservoir. Let me get rid of that. Okay. Now starting the uh, infusion set, as you can see. Uh, the meal unit is really nice. It has the automatic insertion only. You cannot do manual insertion. And it's in a very nice sterile package. So when you travel, you can just bring this with you. So that's like, wow, that's cool, right? You don't have to worry about it. Many needles, whatever. Um, you will see needle now. Um, so you're going to remove the top cover. You can see this is the insertion needle. And that's the sticky pad. So this part is going to be attached to your body. And this end goes with the reservoir. So it's clipped in. So make sure you very gently pull it back and remove basically unwind this tubing this is the 28 inch model they have longer ones uh, but be careful of the needle you definitely don't want to bend it because when you do um, it's going to make the insertion a little bit harder and you can see there's a little guide right there for you to straighten out the tubing so let's attach the tubing to the reservoir this is like little twist, insert and twist, um, and then now it's set in. Now it's ready to be set up with your pump. So I have my pump here that's attached to the old infusion set. So what I do is I remove the reservoir from the pump, as you can see, put that away. Um, now you try to go to, let me see if I can get you to start the read right, click um, activity, or action, scroll down to reservoir plus set. And then there's a menu called reservoir setup. And they say tubing, remove it, blah blah blah. Follow the instruction. I've done this many times. And you hit the activity button, and then this plunger is going to rewind. So I'm going to hit it. As you can see, hope you can see it. The little gray plunger is going back. All the way in the back now and it's beeping um, to, this is one of the alarms telling you that hey you're not getting insulin delivery I know but it just beeps that's one of the programming as you can see the minor alarm symbol it's also on it's not a major alarm um, so rewind complete place and lock the reservoir okay so let's get the new reservoir in and I like to twist the pump to get it locked instead of twisting this because I already straightened out the, the tubing, right? So, when you're back to sleep, press activity and they say, are you disconnected? Yes, well, I'm connected to the old set, not the new set. Now, what happened is that when you press the activity, bu activity button, the plunger is going to go up until it hits the, the little, I don't know what you call it, the back end of the reservoir because I'm not at 180 unit, which is the maximum. I'm at 125, 130, whatever you call it. So there's like 50 units of gap, as you can see. You can hear it, you can feel the plunger going. At this time, I like to tap it to make sure there's no other. Now, when, there's a different sound to the, when the plunger actually hits the back of the plunger, the little pushing thing. Um, as you can see, it's actually deducting it. Um, so just uh, now you have to watch in the tubing uh, to make sure it comes out on this end. So I place it upside down like this, and I keep tapping it lightly, just in case there's any little bubble I missed. Um, so you will get pushed out of the tubing uh, in front of the insulin. It's just me. I think it's coming up. Um, you can see a little droplet of insulin. Let me go push a little more. As you can see it comes out that means this tubing right now it's filled with insulin so when you do it you don't you're not filling a tube full of air first 
Um, it's about 5.9 units right here. I have a little extra, maybe 5.8. And then we hit escape when done. It says, do you see um, drops at the end of the, yes, I do. Now it's ready for insertion. So let's place that aside. So the reservoir and the infusion set connection, perfect. Now I can put insulin away. I unplug this, um, throw this in the shop's container. Put my insulin back. Safe spot, so I'm gonna drop it and the back of the plunger and the reservoir set goes to the trash. Okay, so, okay, so this is my current infusion set that needs to be removed, and this is my last infusion set. I don't think I did a good job inserting it. Let me show you. It's actually okay, but there's definitely a little, little blood um, warning. You might see blood. Um, so there might be bleeding behind it. Like you can't see it. There's even those little window. I don't know if you can. Um, I don't know how to position it. There's a little clear window you can see. I can't tell what the hell's going on. Uh, sometimes it bleeds back there, you can't see it. But the moment you pull the infusion set out, the blood basically squirts out. So let me show you how I remove it. Basically, I disconnect myself. So now I have the old infusion set and tubing here. I disconnect it and throw this away. The, the, the reservoir I just put in the garbage and this I basically tie it up and put it in the sharps container do that okay I get the um, band aid ready um, and apply neosporin okay do a little bit of neosporin okay and I also get that tissue paper you saw what I do is I place it underneath just in case there's a blood coming out I can just cover it so then you it's just like a band-aid lift and look perfect insertion last time no problem you want to inspect the site make sure there's no additional redness and you place the band-aid right on the old site when you do it this way, um, at least when I do it this way, I allow the site to basically infuse a little bit. If you just disconnect it right away from when you connect with the pump, you don't remove the reservoir, you just pull out. Sometimes a little insulin basically um, come out a little bit. They haven't been fully diffused yet. And as you can see, this is the, um, the one I just pulled out. As you can see, um, uh, let me see if I find myself. As you can see, the uh, tube is totally clear. There's no blood in it, there's no kink, and it's straight, and um, so this is the cannula. This part, it's 6 millimeter, and you can see, it's plastic, Teflon, whatever, Teflon coated plastic. Um, so, very flexible. Um, so the principle is basically the guiding needle right now, it's inside of the um, cannula, and you basically insert it and remove the needle that allows it to deliver insulin into your system. It's very, very advanced. So now I'm ready for the um, new infusion set. Um, let me move it over here um, so you can see. So um, I removed the backing. So this thing has automatic insertion in place. Okay, and I remove, you want to also remove the needle guard. It's uh, a blue plastic tubing. You want to use a twist motion again. Don't want to bend the needle. Um, apologize for the needle. Um, as you can see, this needle right here, that's the one that's the guiding needle. That's going to guide the infusion tubing into your body, and it's going to get removed. So only the tubing stays. The needle is just basically help you make the hole, and then the tubing stays, and the needle comes out. That's it. Now you want to remove the uh, adhesive backing. Um, it's basically like onion, curry fries, whatever. As you can see, it's a uh, sticky backing. 
it's automatic insertion, so it's only good for one insertion. If you make a mistake, you pull it out, don't try the second time. I did, and then always go bad bleeding to start over with the infusion set. So my insertion strategy is, since they come in box of 10, uh, I basically do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then the 10th one will be randomly placed. I like to place it randomly. Um, so you get alcohol bath, you do the circular motion inside out. You want to make sure it's dry. Now it is ready for the infusion set. You make sure the, uh, the tube is in the guiding channel and you pull back the backing. Now you place it flat against your tummy and that looks good. Now you press on this and just press squeeze like that. Um, I don't pray or chant, I like to do the breathing. Basically do three deep breaths and then tell yourself ready to go. So uh, make sure you're standing up straight, there's no folds in your stomach or anything and then it's basically flush again. And you press for a few seconds, and then you pull out. Okay. And you check. Make sure the adhesive is flat against your skin. And um, there's no bleeding usually. I mean, bleeding is inside. You can't tell. You can't see. And, it's, uh, and it doesn't hurt. Thank God. Um, sometimes it hurts. Sometimes the weird thing is that you do the infusion set right here, somehow you feel like the pain comes from here, or the pain comes from here. It's never here, which is the funny thing. Um, so now, um, as you can see, the needle, the guiding needle is right here. Um, so there's no metal needle inside of you. And you put the cap back on. And... Um, Great. You are good to go, except don't forget the last step. Um, if you go back to the pump, they say you're ready to fill the cannula. Activity for 6 millimeter, it's 0.3 units. Basically, the empty tubing needs to be filled, the little cannula plastic tubing. And they hit activity, and it's pumping 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Done. Ta-da! Basically, there's not any insulin adding anything in you. You just fill up a little tiny little six millimeter tubing, and it's done. And how many units I have left? Let me see. Go to the status. Yeah, the screen is very hard to read. Um, so you can see, it shows you date and time of the infusion set change, and I have 125 point. 9 units? 125, 126, 125.9 units. The screen is not the easiest screen to read. I wish they fixed that. And that's it. Ta da! I just need to clean up a little bit. Um, to show you how I put tissue away, how I would wear it normally, um, it's on the right side or left side, basically switch pockets. So what I do is I run it through the belt. The adhesive is really strong, by the way. Um, and then basically the pump goes into my pocket, as you can see. So the cabling goes behind the belt, and then the rest of the cabling, I basically hide it um, in your pants, my pants. And that's it. So you don't even know. See, with my shirt tucked in or outside, you don't even know I'm diabetic. Um, and I can eat. Well, that's it. I do this once every three days. Thank you very much for watching and please let me know if you have any questions and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching and stay healthy.